Welcome back in, everyone. Our friend Julie, Julie Bowles is here from EMEPA. Won't that uh, the steak is right back here, Julie. So <laughs> trying to get the info from me, her and Aviana both. But uh, we're going to talk about uh, a few things. Uh, first of all, welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure. Uh, an event a week from today at EMEPA. Tell us about that. That's right. It is going to be our first ever member expo. We have um, titled it Get the Scoop because okay. we will not only be giving you the scoop of information, but also we'll be serving Mississippi State Bulldog ice cream at the event. Too. That's the best, mm -hmm. by the way. It is, absolutely. So we've, we've got our freezer stocked full right now, waiting for, for next week. So we just encourage our members to come out and um, get their ice cream, and we'll be um, sharing information about hurricane season. The event is actually June 1st, next Thursday from 9 to 3. It's a come and go um, walk through event. We'll have different booths set up, but that is also the first day of hurricane season. Oh, wow. So we will have information about hurricane season, preparedness, safety, um, electrical safety information, as well as information on our high speed internet and phone services through East Mississippi Connect. So this is next Thursday at the EMEPA on uh, uh, Highway 39. That's right. Our office knows. on Highway 39 will be in our auditorium, and some of our safety presentations will also spill over into the parking lot there as well. So you'll get a lot of information, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's the high speed or you hurricane preparedness. It, it is the time. Hard to believe that we're almost uh, in June. And you get the Mississippi State ice cream. That's a that's a pretty good deal. That's right. That's a reason to come out, um, if even if you don't need the information, which we all really do, yeah. um, but you get your um, ice cream as well. And we'll have things for kids also. It's not just for adults. We'll have information that's relevant to kids. We've got some door prizes, some giveaways. Um, just a lot will be going on that day, so we encourage people to come out. Week from today, Thursday, June 1st. What are the times? 9 to 3. Okay. Well, kind of an all-day event. That's, that's right. right just come and go as, as it's convenient. Okay, we're going to hold uh, Julie over for another segment. Uh, there are things that you touched on. Y'all hit a, a, a recent milestone, right? We did. We're, we we're going to touch on it. All mm -hmm. smiles on that. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe some tips on we're about to have the high temps mm -hmm. that maybe folks Sorry. can help on your power bill. Hurricane preparedness, lots to get to. Julie will uh, stay with us and we'll talk about the, those things after a break. Uh, but high speed cool. internet, particularly bringing to rural communities right. who mm -hmm. may not have had it before. Uh, you guys have recently hit a landmark. Talk about that. We sure did. Lindsay, back in November of 2020, we installed our very first subscriber to East Mississippi Connect High Speed Internet. Um, and actually, interesting tidbit, the Family Fish Camp was our first commercial subscriber to well, the service. Well, wow. mm -hmm. So they yeah. were our first non-residential um, subscriber. But um, So you've gone from number one then to? That's right, number one back in November of 2020. And this week, we hit our 10,000th subscriber. So incredible growth. Y'all um, work fast. That's right. It was a five-year project that we began in wow. 2020, and we are nearing completion two years that ahead of schedule. That is incredible. Mm -hmm. Wow, it kind of ties things in a neat bow. Uh, mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, hurricane season, you said, started uh, as well as y'all's uh, a week from today. That's right, June 1st. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what are the tips out there? Uh, well, um, come to our expo on June 1st. We'll have information <laughs> for you, but some of the things that we would encourage people um, ahead of hurricane season is to make sure they have a plan in place. Uh, make sure they have a supply kit. You know, if you were to lose power, um, have your non-perishable food items, flashlights, batteries. Um, sometimes people, they may get their can items and they don't have a can opener that's not electric, um, but having a manual can opener, simple things like that, you just need to think of ahead of time so you're prepared if you were to need and it. If you're new to this area, you, thought, you think, okay, we're 100, 120 miles from the coast, it's okay. Well, we have mm -hmm. seen on numerous opportunities, we can be affected really heavily that's right. by mm -hmm. hurricanes. That's here. right. I mean, I mean, we all remember Hurricane Katrina. It's been Years ago now, years. but we, EMEPA, had a 100% outage after Hurricane Katrina. We did not have a single one of our members that still had power. So we can be affected even this far inland. Uh, and quickly, in 30 seconds, if they come to the meeting, they'll learn tips because we're about to hit that 90 degrees, 100 degrees right. on how maybe mm -hmm. you can save on that heating bill. That's right. We'll have energy efficiency information as well. We also have resources on our website at emepa.com where you can do our, walk through a home energy audit um, that you can do yourself, get tips, tricks to save money on your power bill. You'll find that and more next Thursday, June 1st at EMEPA, 9 to 3 o'clock. 9 to 3. And mm -hmm. get that ice cream from Mississippi State. That's right. We'll be out there mm -hmm. in a little bit. I might slip in and see if I can get a little ice cream yeah, from you. Come I on. may see it. So, all right. Julie, thank you. Thank Great you. Great information. <laughs>